So here's another relatively simple and fun one. This one is just some pure circuitry and uh, a little bit of physical. Now what it is is there's a little bit of water in these tubes and lasers pointed up through them and a membrane to prevent it from leaking of course. And then uh, these are just little rolling air pumps and they are connected down here. So as you can see an audio signal comes in through this simple splitter and then it's sent off to a set of speakers just so you can actually listen to the music at the same time. And then inside here, in the back there, it's going to go through a little audio amp. And then it's going to go through some simple uh, simple tr power transistors. And there's a little bit of smoothing and uh, I've got two signals coming out of there. One of them is um, slightly uh, smoothed out, more smoothed out than the other. I'm not even doing any high low pass filters or band pass filters. So you could create tons of various signals to control these using the various filters and uh, smoothing methods, etc. Um, so let's have a look and see how this looks. It all runs purely off of 5 volts. Uh, it probably uses, I don't know, 2 3 amps. And there, flip off the lights and start some music. Let's turn up the signal. And also at the top, I've got little uh, little wires to help break the surface tension and prevent the bubbles from coming out too much. I'm gonna have to work on that. This signal seems way too weak right now. This signal seems too powerful relatively. Okay, so one signal is uh, one signal is clearly much stronger than the other. I'll have to see if I can do something about that. This one's just barely coming out with bubbles. It's more producing a laser show at the top based on the bubbles, which was the original intention. It was only after I discovered these rising layers at slightly higher intensity that I decided they were the primary effect I was going to go for. Um, the light over here is kind of drowning it out, so if you get the light out of the screen, you might be able to see them better. Oh there, it's starting to pick up a bit. Anyways, the general effect is very fun. Um, there's, they're actually two different diameters even, so even though they're running different signals, uh, the diameter of the tube is even different. So there's tons of various things you can, deal, you can play with. You can play with the liquid you use, uh, obviously oils with higher surface tensions will break less than the water and go up higher. Um, you can play with the tubes, the length of tube, the diameter of the tube. You can play with the uh, signal you actually send in. As you see, I've got a couple LEDs in there just showing me the signals they're playing. And yeah, oh there, this one finally picked up a bit. I'll have to have a look and do some more testing with that one to figure out what was going on with that. Just took a while to get warmed up, I guess. Maybe there's a loose pin connection down there. Anyways, um, I think the uh, bars effect is quite nice. I'm very fond of it. Shooting a laser, you could, the bars can be quite visible. Um, I, I have to tweak the designs a little. Uh, but uh, also a lot of the lights getting blocked. My uh, rolling pumps have little protruding uh, stems and they're blocking a lot of the laser. So um, I'm wondering actually if I use a microcontroller how well I can control the frequency of these of these bars and the gaps between them, etc. I wonder if I can actually program the and draw the the the, the bars in certain pat in the patterns I want, or if it's going to be too hard to control and just random. Um, so uh, lots of things to to test for in the future. Plenty to play with. <laughs>